Welcome to The Real O Show. Today we are reviewing 21 Savage, American Dream album, off the first listen. We just listened to it this morning, but we want to get into our favorite songs, off the first listen, the body of work, and then I want to give a way too early 2024 prediction on 21 Savage and what he's going to do this year. Joshua, what are your top songs off the first listen? I just want to say the first listen I had of American Dream 21 Savage gave me great vibes. I didn't know what to I expect agree. with 21 Savage. He just came off the Her Loss album in 2022. And then if we even think about it, he hasn't had an album since I Am and I Was, which yeah. is like 2018. So it's been a long he time since. He was due since. for one. He, he was, was due, due for one. And I will say I, I, I really, really enjoyed it off the first listen. And I think Zach and I do have a few songs that are similar in our top three. But my, my top three is All of Me, Letter to My Brother, uh, See the Real. Yeah. And that one might be my favorite. Yeah. I, so, and uh, just gonna, just to give a quick justification on why I said those, that's the Twenty One Savage I love. Mm -hmm. The slower, slowed down, not super like drill. Like I really enjoyed Twenty One, and I have some honorable mentions I'll mention after Zachary's yeah. top three. So, all of me let, letter to my brother were off first listen. Great. It, it's funny you said you said see the real as I actually picked the song. I believe before or possibly the one after it, which is Prove It, which had Summer Walker in it, which honestly great song it's in my Summer honorable Walker mention. is like the best feature you can have on an album with 21 savage and i would never would have thought about it until i listened to that had me in an absolute chokehold and then i wanted to give i i'm going to give my honorable mention but i it wasn't my favorite song like really i was like oh that song is great and it's not in my top three was the one with burna boy what what was that Burna Boy like was me. just like me. Just like me with yeah. Burna Boy. And the reason I say that is I think it's going to do numbers. Yeah, it might it might be the most streamed song no, on the album. So be. I'm giving that with be. Burna Boy just being worldwide. I actually, I, I want to say that because you think that song will be the most streamed song. I think it's this one with Travis Scott will be ah, the yeah. most streamed song off that album. And it won't be close. It won't be close. Burna Boy, great song. I loved it. And it's in my honorable mention. But it won't be close to the Travis Scott one. Yeah, the Travis and I, Scott and one. Yeah. And I just want to interrupt you because I think it's important to note, 21 Savage has some great, great features. And when I say great features, I mean I'm a massive little Dirk fan, and Dirk was probably one of the weaker features. I agree. I didn't like that on the song. album. I and didn't again, like it. and again, it's only because of the song that it was. If we would have had Dirk singing on the fucking beat, it would have been a completely different thing. So just a shout but out. But he wasn't. So. But just to shout out some of the features, Dirk. Thug, Travis Scott, Doja Cat, Burner Boy, Summer Walker, Mariah the Scientist, and just a shout out because this one is on my honorable mention of Brian Fiaz. I don't know oh. what the fuck that guy's name is, who he is. I don't even Have know who this guy is. Before? He's really no, good. No, no, no. I don't no, know who he is. He's plugged in. And he's really good. You should check him out. Should have worn a bonnet. I don't even know what a fuck a bonnet is. But that is a hot song. Yeah. Again, 21. Not really singing on the beat, but soft on the beat, slower. He slows everything down. He lets it come to him, and it, it is hot. I think that's the one thing that 21 Savage does really well is he's very patient, and he's had it before Drake, and I think Drake kind of brought what we're seeing out of him a little bit. But I, I, I kind of put this as my note. The album wasn't anything I wasn't expecting out of 21 Savage, but it's always high quality with him. Like you consistent. know exactly what you're gonna get. He's consistent, which we've talked about before with uh, with Nav a little bit, where yeah. like Nav kind of gets a, a bad rap, where like people don't give him the respect because he's so consistent. And I'm not trying to compare Nav and Twenty One Savage. I think they're completely different artists, but it's almost the same. Twenty One, just high quality. He got his first project after kind of coming off the Drake season. Overall. Great project. Definitely check it out. Okay. Definitely worth the listen. And I do think it's going to be one of the better projects of 2024. And that's not my way too early prediction. I have a different prediction, but I just wanted to put that out there. I agree. I mean, 21's on his Joe Flacco. Just consistent. Bro. Yeah. He's just consistent. Yeah, for he's, sure. When, you have it, when you're consistent through your whole career, and obviously he's got that Drake bump right now, but yeah. like he has been very consistent. I, I agree. So g give your way too early 2024 prediction for 21 savage i think that 21 savage is not going to drop any more projects in 2024 i think he's coming off of her loss he was just on tour with drake he drops the album early i will say this and i something i think we should look forward to in 2024 is i would bet anything that 21 savage is going to have some of the hottest features in 2024 i think this album is going to do numbers it might even be in the Grammy talk. It's a little too early to say that. Again, this is what we're doing anyway. We're a little too early. This might be in the Grammy talk. 
I have to let it sink in a little more. But I could see 21 Savage having some crazy, crazy features in 2024. He has a lot of good people on this album. And I think that you could see him on the inverse of a lot of their projects and probably many more. So I'm going to say my very early take is 21 could be up in the Grammy talk for 2024. And I think he's going to have some of the hottest features in the year. I mean, he was in the billions of streams in 2023, which I think is why he strategically... The Drake effect. I agree. Which is why I think he strategically placed his project early in the year. Like We're still in January. So I, I, I think he's trying to get that carryover a little bit, keep, keep that bottled up energy that he has in him. I do think it's probably going to be in the Grammy talk. It's funny that Joshua said that. You also said he's going to jump on a lot of features. I really think... Like what I would want 21 Savage to do is one, don't do any music with anybody and just let your album get played out or two, drop another project, do it again, do it again, continue to get better, continue to show you don't need Drake because at the end of the day, a lot of people started listening to 21 Savage more thought 21 Savage got better because of Drake. Like whether that's true or not, that that's just facts. Can we talk about something? Cause I thought there was a big elephant in the room on this album that I haven't seen many people talk about off of Drake's last album for all the dogs. And it's, it's most specifically on his deluxe. He kind of calls out Metro Boomin and on the 21 Savage Drake called Drake calls out yes. Metro Boomin. There's four Metro features on the 21 Savage album. And I thought it was weird that 21 sits in between Drake and Metro and I thought to myself, is there ever any bad boy? Like, do you think Drake is just like, yeah, I don't really care who 21 works with? Or is there like that industry bad boy? Or is it all just fake? Are 21 and Metro really not, or is are Drake and Metro really not beefing? Because to me, it's a little weird. If, if, if my boy is fucking around with people that I don't like, it would rub me the wrong way. And I would say something to them. I think it's a little bit of both. I don't think Drake cares who 21 Savage works with, truly. I think Drake's just too high up in the game. And he's petty, but I don't think in that way. Two, it could be a little fake. Like At the end of the day, it, it is the rap game. A lot of the stuff that gets brought up is fake. It's for clicks. But I, just, I, I, don't, think, I don't think Drake is at the point of his career to like make up petty beefs. Like There probably is something there. But that's funny you said that. I didn't think about that, honestly, that he did have a ton of Metro Boom and stuff. Four Metro songs, they were all good. And okay, so just to spin it, because obviously we don't know. We're not going to We don't know. know. But I think it's interesting to think that they there could be something there. And maybe that's why Drake's not on this album, is because I didn't know if it was because they no, had already been doing Drake's many projects. Not, Drake's not going to be on the but He was, just for did sure, a million fucking sure. songs with them. You for don't need to be sure. on his album. For sure, but I'm just you saying. You don't need that. You, you, don't, you don't need it. I'm saying that, That's and that's what I thought. But it also could be that he was working with Metro. I don't no. know. I don't know. I don't know. They just did 49 songs together in 2023. They don't need 50. So we've already mentioned a lot of the a lot of the songs. I want to give a couple of my the ones that we hadn't mentioned. Prove it. Love that one. Should have worn a bonnet. Just like me with Burner Boy. Dark Days, which I think is like the last the last song. Obviously the one with T Travis Scott. I really enjoyed. I think it was a full project. I think 21 gave us a, a full project. I always think that the the front songs are for. Yeah. The record label, and I think the back songs yeah, are for the artist, and I think the back is so, some of my songs, favorite. Songs 10 through 15, I think he really crushed it. Like, as far as like if you're talking about like going on a run in a project, I 10 through 15, obviously one, one of our favorite songs is number seven, which is Letter, Letter to My Brother. Um, I also like to talk a lot about like the intro and outro. I thought it was interesting with the intro where he had like kind of like the throwback, just talking, not really a song, but flew the interlude. I don't really consider but, but, the interlude but, a, the opening song. I okay, think that's so, just like setting so, the tone. So whatever, all of me is the intro song. I would say, which is a good and, song. and that was great. And then how he closed it out, which I believe is Dark Days with yeah. Mariah the Scientist. Great. Song. And Mariah the Scientist, she's just. She talked about quality. She's yeah. just great right now. Mariah's the way he, on. the way he rapped on it, it was it was a slower beat, but still like kind of hard. And he was just very patient, attacking it and really spitting some game. So, um, if you're gonna grade it album based off like the intro and the outro, which I like to do, I th I thought it was great. I thought it was great. And, and and I will say, there's only a couple songs that when I listened to, I was like, oh shit. 
but that's that's how I know it's a great project because a lot of a lot of times the great projects for me don't grab me right away. It goes a little over your head. You gotta it takes time. You gotta let you gotta let it sink in. And for usually sure. by like the third or fourth list, and you're like, oh wow, this is really good. But oh, through and through, Twenty One Savage did it. Great project. I think we should leave it there. Yeah, it's a great it project. It's a great project. If you made it this far, like, subscribe. Let us know if you loved it, you hated it. If you think our takes were shit, let us know. But we appreciate you guys checking in. Always. So I see a million dollars when my eyes close. So now I'm fishing with this shit, man. All true stories. So I see a million dollars when my eyes close. So I